Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and today I'm going to teach you how to composite in Pixlr. Compositing in photo editing is where you cut out pieces of one picture and you put it into another picture. This is generally what people think of when they think of uh, something that was photoshopped. Uh, it's where you take something from one picture, put it in another, and you you create something new that, that didn't exist before. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And this is one of those things that People think it's a lot harder than it really is. When I show you how easy it is, you're going to be blown away. So with this assignment, I'm going to have you find a picture of a big window um, or a small window or some kind of window. The reason why we're doing windows is because they're generally a lot easier to composite with when you're just learning. Uh, the next assignment, we're going to get into more detailed uh, compositing around certain characters and stuff. But with windows, it's a big square. It's a big rectangle, so it's pretty easy to learn the basics. Um, so I found a big window picture that we're going to use that I'm going to use for my version of this assignment. Where is it? Where does it be? Uh, it's on here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to take this nice, really serene, uh, beach landscape. looks like a sauna in some rich guy's house. I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut out the window pieces here, the glass in the window. I'm going to put something else behind it. So with Pixlr, the first thing you need to know is that the first layer that opens up by default is called the background layer, right? And with a background layer, it's pretty much assuming that there's nothing going to be behind it. So if I was to take, let's say, a selection tool like this and hit delete on that selection, I'm going to see a white background. Uh, and that's not what we want. We want to actually have a gray checkered pattern behind it telling me that that's going to be transparent. So in order to get rid of that, I'm just going to hit control D to deselect that. I'm going to go up here to my layer. I'm going to double click on this lock, which will make this an actual layer and not a background. I'm going to take this select tool that I had again, and I'm going to select as close as I possibly can here and hit delete. And that's going to cut out that piece that I don't want anymore. Right? So now I have this weird triangle area. We're going to deal with that in a minute. I'm just going to get as many square pieces out of the way as I can. So I'll go with that one. We'll do another square here. Okay, and I'm not trying to be too perfect right now. Um, mainly for one, I don't want this video to be too long, but also um, I'm not really going for perfection. You can spend hours trying to make sure your composites are exactly perfect, but uh, I'm not really that interested in it right now, and you shouldn't be either. We're just learning. We're just trying to learn how to do this stuff. All right, so now I have all the square pieces that I can see. Oh, there's one right here we can do just to get all the easy work out of the way. And now I want to zoom in so I can do the finer detailed work. So let's start with this little window over here. I want to zoom in a little bit more. Now, because this is a raster image, the more I zoom in, you can see it's getting pixelated around the edges. Now, some people get really tempted to get into those gaps and really try to make it as clean as possible. I'm not worried about that. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to select this little lasso here. Uh, it looks like a lasso, and it's called the lasso tool. I'm going to select that, and by default, it's this circle. For straight lines, we can actually click this to turn it into a polygon selector tool. And all I have to do is click where I want, go to the next corner, click, go down here. I'm actually going to go down a little farther because I wasn't perfect with my other selection. And then with this lasso tool, you want to make sure you finish your selections by matching them up point to point. And so now I got rid of that triangle piece. I'll go down here. I can cut off a little angled piece here just to get rid of that. Okay, go down here, clean it up just a little bit. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect with this. I'm just trying to get uh, most of that blue out of there because my background's not going to have a lot of blue in it. You'll see in just a second. All right, a couple more. I'm going to speed this up. I don't want to want to take forever. You guys get the idea. Oh, forgot to click. There we go. And oh, 
sometimes if you don't match it up perfectly, you won't get those marching ants. So if that happens, that's fine. Just uh, click again and you'll, you'll find it. And all I'm doing is just using this tool to break up these sections and delete them. Right. And there can be little artifacts too. It doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. All right. This will be a lot easier if you pick a straight, uh, a straight on view of a window, one that's not angled, because then you won't have those angles. But then you won't be uh, challenging yourself, and that's not fun. Oh, I don't want to close, so no. All right. Go up here. Oh. Delete, and it looks like I'm just about done. I have the bottom here to take care of, and then I'm finished. Okay. So now that I have my picture fully composited, if I was doing this for, oh, I have another big window. Let's just do this one quickly. Um, if I was doing this for a professional project, I would definitely spend a couple of minutes cleaning this up and making it look as good as possible. But as you, you can already tell, um, those little mistakes that I made and the pieces that I forgot to cut out, when I was zoomed in, it was really obvious. Now that I'm zoomed out, you really can't tell. So now I have this transparent part where uh, there's nothing there. And if I was to export this picture as it is, this would just be uh, blank or it would be blank, but I can also put it on top of something else and it would show up. We're going to do that now though. I want to bring in my other picture, the picture that's going to go behind it. Um, I'm going to go to image. Nope. I'm going to go to layer and go open image as layer. I'm going to find my other picture. I'm going to bring in this King Kong picture. King Kong's looking really ferocious. Now notice that whenever I brought the layer in, it brought it in as layer one and it put it on top of my window. Now, the way layers work is whatever's on top is going to be displayed, obviously, on top. My window needs to be on top, however. So I'm going to bring my window up on top of layer one. And now I have King Kong looking through the window. Now my artifacts come back and it's easier to see them. But we're actually going to fix that right now. Because now these pictures don't actually look like they match. And that's because the lighting's different and there's a lot of sunlight coming through here, but King Kong's kind of in the way of the, the window, so that doesn't look really natural. So now we have to get into color correction. So I'm going to go into adjustment. I'm going to first turn down the brightness because this first picture is very bright. and I don't want it to be that bright. And I will actually bring down the contrast a little bit here. Uh, let's go into color balance. And we will bring up, bring down the red, bring the green, and bring it down just a little bit, add some more blue to it, make it kind of seem like a nighttime thing. Mm, let's change the exposure, bring the exposure down. So anyway, I could spend another three hours messing around with this as well, adding other effects in it for whatever, what, however I want, but you guys get the idea. Um, the compositing itself isn't going to take very long. What I'm looking for is that you take some time adjusting the layers to try to match them as much as you can as far as tone and as far as color and try to make an effort to make the pictures look like they both belong in the same universe essentially. But when you're done, all you have to do is go to file and save. And you would save this as either a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, either one's fine. It's up to you. You want to name it, of course, put it somewhere you can find it and then upload your final composited image. Um, I, I also want your original. So I want your final image and I want your two originals. I want your big picture and I want your picture that you're putting, your big window picture and your compo the subject picture behind it. Um, so I'm gonna have three submissions on this. I'm gonna have the final product and the two originals as well. So I can see how your compositing matches up with the originals. Um, but 
uh, yeah, have fun with this assignment. You can go crazy with it, do whatever you want. I've seen some really good stuff in the past, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, thanks for paying attention. Bye.